Hey all, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video and today I have for you guys what I'm using to farm Kaiba. Now this is an interesting deck, it focuses on the, you know, the Paradox Brothers with their ability skill Unite, Elements Unite, so that allows some awesome farming capabilities, especially easy for Yama Yugi, Weevil, Rex, Odeon, Teya, all those guys, makes the farming super super simple. Also really allows you to get your points down low and then uh, your tribute summons out and everything like that and it's very effective. But for Kaiba, Kaiba's always been the really challenging one to farm. So I added some modifications to that normal uh, Paradox Brothers Elements Unite farming deck to kind of combat him. Now I just want to give a big disclaimer, this deck only, and I mean only works maximum 70% of the time. More times than not, Kaiba is able to bring out his blue eyes and I don't have an answer for it. So that's something to keep in mind. You need to keep one of the element uh, element guys on at a given time or else you will lose and you need to kind of blow up his blue eyes if he does bring it out. He's got two of them so two blast held tributes would be awesome but I only have one. But speaking of our deck let's just go into it. So basically the main card once again that you use to farm any of these people if you don't have union attack is Piranha Army. So Piranha Army inflicts double damage when it attacks directly. That's the main focus of the deck. But also, we use our blue eyes to fuse into Ultimate Dragon, and that's how we gift the Martyr that attack points, the 4500, over onto a Piranha Army, so it's over 5000 when it does the damage. Uh, another easier, kind of better way, uh, if I could, would be Master of Oz, that gives exactly 4200 to give it exactly 5000. And all that would do is remove one slot from your deck, so you could add, possibly add in maybe another Jar of Greed or something like that to kind of allow you to draw through the deck a little bit faster. So obviously some modifications that I made from the normal decks are Ryoku Field. So Ryoku Field uh, stops a spell card that targets exactly one monster in the field, so it's going to stop his enemy controller. And I recommend having three of these. Uh, he only has two enemy controllers, but you're going to want to make sure that you have this, because this, if you don't have... Uh, at least, uh, like you, you may draw this in the last turn, and then you wouldn't maybe be able to stop your opponent's enemy controller the very last turn if you don't, if you don't already have it set, you won't be able to activate it right. So that's why you need to have three to ensure victory, even if you make it that far. Hopefully you do. I wish you the best of luck with that. Uh, and then I also only have one blast held tribute. So this stops his blue eyes when it attacks you and destroys it and deal some 1000 damage, which is something that's kind of worrying. So another engine in the deck is the Supremacy Berry set. So Supremacy Berry gives you an extra 2000 life points when your life points are lower, and that's kind of really important because you're only starting out with 500, and you uh, one blue eyes attack on any one of those guys basically just is going to kill you. So you need, to, you need to make sure your life points are high enough that you can kind of survive for a little bit of time. Also, if you're able to fuse out your Blue Eyes Ultimate earlier on in the game, I do recommend it. That's why I recommend at least having one Abyssal Designator to get rid of that DD Warrior thing that uh, destroys a monster and banishes it when it does battle with it. So that's kind of something that's important. Uh, Divine Wrath also works, but like that's what some people use. But then you're losing a card in your hand, and I highly recommend not doing that because you may have one of the only combo pieces in your hand. Of course, you do have Gate Guardian, so that also can work as a discard but near the end of the game you may not want to that discard that because you might be running low on cards already but that's also another option you could add in also that may help is maybe ditching one supremacy berry for a shard of greed another shard of greed just so you can start drawing a little bit faster and then i just have crystal sears just as more defense uh, i maybe would even add a third one in there instead of another jar of greed if i did have a third one but those are all just numbers you guys can play with this is like the idea uh, and this has worked out for me like it, it does not work out every time. Like I said, like I would say at least 6 out of 10 times it works just fine. So at least 3 out of 5 times it works. 60%. Uh, but I wouldn't say I get more than 70%. 7 out of 10 tries. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just wanted to share this farm with you. It's very easy to build this farm because obviously you e you're going to have one Blast Hell Tribute. You should be able to have the engine from other decks like that. And this isn't a super expensive deck. Of course, the Shard of Greeds are kind of hard to get. The Supremacy Barriers are just from farming Taya, uh, which is very easy with the counterpart deck of this. I'm going to do a video on that later on as well. Uh, Supremacy Barriers are not hard to get anymore, especially with these uh, super easy farms. 
so that's my idea for a Kaiba farm. Why don't we check it out? I have, I'm going to show you guys three clips. One where it works, one where it doesn't work, and then one where it works again. Just so you can see a little bit of a spectrum there. That's kind of the odds you're going to be getting at least. At least that's what I'm getting. So hope you enjoy that. I'll talk to you at the end.
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was informative for you. Uh, I just wanted to make a little side note as well. Another great reason to use the Paradox Brothers as farmers, at least initially, is so you can unlock their three-star demotion skill. And that's that's probably one of the most competitive skills there is right now. It uh, really flipped the meta upside down and built a whole new deck and a whole new style. And I'd say a lot, a lot of people are using especially for the World Championships. You may want to. Uh, so I recommend using these guys as farmers, even if you're not farming Kaiba, use them to farm some legendary duelists, just so you could possibly get the three-star demotion and maybe build a deck around that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. I, uh, I always reply. I hope you enjoyed watching, hope to catch you in the next one, and as always, peace.